all right hello everyone welcome back to another stream this time we're um looking at expedition mode got one thing in particular this right here hunted all hostile creatures will know your location at all times so i wanted to try this out for a while i think there was already a mod for it but it was added to this expedition mode as a burden so i thought it'd be interesting to try an expedition with this maybe i'll do um, another stream for these other ones but i don't think there's interesting because this really changes the way you play the game as for perks i'm not sure if, if i want to use any maybe just the ones that are already The ones that you should have access to in a normal game. Well, Hunter doesn't get access to Karma Flowers, but I like having them anyway. And these don't give you an advantage over like what's possible. Like you can't, like normally you can't combine the abilities from the other Slug Cats on the side. They're, these are the unlocks for the burdens. Completing five challenges, level five and three total wins as Hunter, 20 quests, 10 hidden challenges. For these burdens so yeah i'll be i'll be playing hunter maybe i'll do another run as the the other two more combat focused slug cats but the the rest of them i i don't think i should do this challenge as uh, it wouldn't be as interesting because you mostly try to avoid combat and i don't want to play gourmand also for the challenges here I think I'm, I want to go... Maybe just something like this. Just a bunch of hunting quests. Kind of fits the theme. If you go to max difficulty, it gives you... I Well, I found that it mostly gives you like red creatures. Like red lizard, red centipede, king vulture. I think I want to do something around here and also some hidden challenges because I like I like not knowing what the challenges are going to be but the first one you it has to be visible so that once you complete the first challenge the other ones are shown to you also I tried um, lowering latency so there shouldn't be as long as a delay from when someone posted a message in the chat and when I could see it and reply. This could be interesting. An Aquapede? Maybe not. To start off the challenge. Some of these are really extreme, like 10 Rios birds. How about this? Just 10, 10 pink lizards. I have tried hunted before. I've actually tried a few expeditions with every single burden, and it was horrible. Don't do that. <laughs> but this this is my first time trying to complete a, a full expedition with the hunted. But I have I have seen what it looks like before. So 10 pink lizards, just to start it off, and then these challenges will be revealed later. Although that is quite a lot of points, so it might be a, a difficult challenge. We'll just have to see. Also, in expedition mode, you start in a random shelter. So Hunter would normally start in farm race, but now I'm over here down in outskirts. Which is a good place to start. I'll probably get some pink wizards here and move up to industrial. So usually where you can find a lot of them. The funny thing about this area is that you're supposed to see it as oh, thanks for that. 
you're, you're supposed to see this area as Spear Master, because this is where you, you start for their campaign. But I actually first found this area as the Gourmand by crafting a Grapple Worm to get up here. as you'll see in a second. This is where you start as the survivor. So as Gourmand, I crafted a grapple worm and climbed up there. Yeah, I thought it could have been five guard too. Has those kind of more interesting shelters. I think I'll just stay in the shelter that I usually stay in from the starting area. If I can get past the red lizard here, so there's usually one. Whoops. Speaking of red lizard. <laughs> oh, two red lizards. Yep, yeah, here's. This is what hunted looks like. Two red lizards in the one of the first few rooms. Oh, it looks like it, they're fighting each other, so I have an opportunity to fight this. It's pink lizard. Wow, <laughs> that was fast. Yep, that's what this challenge is gonna look like. A lot of red lizards. Always. Always after you. Maybe, maybe outskirts isn't a great place to be. Every creature, I think the way it works is every creature in the region knows which room you're in. I don't know if that means that they know your exact location. So if you're if you're hiding inside a tunnel like this, I don't know if they would know to check that tunnel. But I know that usually like situations like that happen where creatures from all across the region, there are multiple red lizards there and they all decide to come down to that room to get me. <laughs> all creatures know my IP address. Another thing that I've seen with this, with this burden is at the top of the wall. Usually there's just not any creatures up there at all, but I was heading from five pebbles down the wall and a bunch of white lizards and a blue lizard and some scavengers showed up at the top of the wall and they were fighting each other. Also, it doesn't mean the hunted burden doesn't mean that they're trying to hunt you. They, they might get distracted and fight each other and they all bunch up in one room. Also, that probably means I should stay in this earlier shelter. So as you saw in that, with all those red lizards, they were fighting each other more than they were going directly after me. So yeah, let's stay in here. I feel that passages might be important if I want to keep my karma at a decent level. Because in expedition mode, you can't raise the cap above five. Even if you see echoes, it can't be increased. Oh, this flower stayed here. Who are you being hunted by? Every single creature in the region. They all know which room I'm in, and they're going to be after me. Like that red lizard. Okay, I thought it I thought it entered the pipe and I have a chance to sneak past. Well uh, it's not a mod, it's just just expedition mode. It's a burden.
Okay, get this karma flower back. You only you only ever get one karma. Okay, you only ever get one karma flower in expedition mode. It doesn't the the perk doesn't make them spawn naturally. You start with one and you have to keep that for the whole the whole game. Here you are. All right. Some short simplicity. Sure. Well, I don't know. All right. Also, I always prefer doing that method now. There was, there was a way to skip that before. By doing some kind of tech. Like Backflipping up onto the pole. But it's not very consistent, or I'm not very consistent at it. So it's easier to throw upwards, because you can do that now. Rivulet and Spearmaster perk. Be nice. Yeah, I really like the Rivulet perk, but it's kind of completely overpowered. So I decided to not have that on, but it's it's still a challenge. Okay, that's one out of ten. This is this is the real challenge of outskirts all dealing with all these red lizards. What's the rivulet perk? It basically gives every slug cat the same movements as the rivulet has, so you can do really high backflips. Your movement speed's really high. Just like everything is faster. Creatures like Dropwigs, even though they know your location, they're still not gonna go after you because that's just not how they they act. They're still gonna follow their normal AI of trying to wait to ambush you. The centipede, however, is not usually in this room. Never replied to your comments. I well I don't usually reply to comments. But I do try to read them all. Yeah, let's head to Industrial. Another pink lizard in here? That's not a great situation. Okay, somehow I made it out of there. By being surrounded by lizards. Okay, I'm not very. I'm not doing very well platforming here. Is that why you commented on that random live stream? Okay, it seems like noodle flies aren't immediately aggroing. It doesn't matter where you leave a comment, I'm going to see it. At least for now. Uh, there might be a point where I get too many comments, but that's not going to happen for a while. I just drop wigs everywhere. Seems like they, might, they may have spread out a bit more than normal. Yeah, I would like to get these pink lizards, but they're a little busy fighting each other. And centipede. Centipede might get some first. Oops, all drop eggs. I'm already good on food. I got stunned for a long time from that. If I can get that other pink lizard, we're all good. Okay. Now I just like to get to a shelter.
but I have no idea how many creatures may be in this next room. Great. Let's mess up that jump multiple times. Get used to hearing threat music literally at every moment. Kind of seems like all the creatures piled up in this room and killed each other. A little lizard. I would like to shelter. Hopefully this burden doesn't make them follow you into shelters. Because I think their AI has been changed so they're, they're less likely to do that after downpour. I would like to get rid of some of these drop bugs before they... <laughs> that was interesting. That one has a bomb. I just took it from him. Because I hold on to that. I still get this one. Yep. They're still alive. I don't really know what you're talking about. ICVs usually get pretty normal amount of likes per per views. It's not like people are watching Rainworld videos and not liking them. Hello, I would not like to be here. Grace. Just suddenly, two very large centipedes appeared. to worry about drop bugs. Also, another thing about expedition mode, if you complete one of the, or if you make progress towards one of the challenges, even if it's hidden, it will still show up. Like that menu will pop up on the screen for a second. So you can actually kind of get an idea of what the challenge might be. If I kill, say, like a, a green lizard and it pops up, then I know that killing green lizards is one of the objectives, even if I haven't seen or haven't revealed the challenges yet. Industrial now. Yes. Although this might also be pretty bad because um, of the leaf lizards. <laughs> Actually, brainless. Yeah, they they like to hang out right above a, an acid pool. world more interesting I'd recommend just like self-imposed challenges or completing objectives that you haven't done before after you know after you complete whatever the, the main like campaigns 
you can try to go for, for like self-imposed challenges that force you to play differently. Oh, it looks like Blue Lizards might be one of the objectives. Plug King map. That's how to not have fun. Well, it, it depends. Please don't fly away. I saw the sad view. If I got a mask, that would help things out a lot. I would also like to get that pink loot before it gets away. Although I may have to, some other things to worry about. Mask. Um, I'm just gonna get to the shelter to save this mask. Even though they know my location, they don't know I have a mask, so they're gonna get to the room I'm in and then immediately get scared away. If there's a lizard, there's plenty of other creatures that are gonna be after me too. And red lizards aren't affected at all. Although I'm pretty sure there's only one red lizard in industrial and they're in an area that they can't exactly escape from. Yep, this mask will help out a lot. Hunter point runs. Mm. Yeah, when you get going. I, I feel mixed about point runs, because if you try to optimize them too much, you you might end up pop locking yourself from the optimal run. If you die too many times, then you're going to have to just spend a cycle farming karma, and that's a cycle that you could have been using to get points. So you kind of have to not die too much, or else you risk having to restart the run. If you if you go optimally, if you if you don't mind like spending a few cycles not optimizing the amount of points you get, then I guess you don't have to worry about that. But I found it annoying when I tried to make routes that that um that optimize like like which like how long do you stay in each region to get the passages. So I, I might have a strategy that involves staying in farm raids for a decent amount of cycles to get... Oh, I'd like to finish that. Let's see. To get the survivor and then heading up the, the Sky Islands to get the, the Wanderer. Stuff like that. But it's actually very hard to get survivor passage as, as the hunter. It's a bit busy over here. So the survivor passage in particular, if you if you die too much, it's just like much harder to you know, it's kind of an extra cycle spent. If you die, then you you no longer have enough karma to get the survivor, and then you need to spend another cycle to to increase your karma to make progress again. I, re I really like Hunter too. That's why I'm playing them right now for this. Okay, this is not a good situation for this expedition. So I'm considering that Artificer might be a good option too, considering that they're more combat focused, but I didn't like the idea of having to deal with like an even worse version of, um, of the, the scavenger hunting squads. Okay, 
that was a bit close. Or it looks like it might, might, might be blue lizards that I need to hunt. Well, I, I imagine that there's not many, like, too many, not too many easy creatures. The next objectives are probably going to be a killer red lizard and a, a daddy long legs and then a red centipede. All the for all the new slug cats that have been added and down for, I still I still think Hunter compares. I think I think it especially for for like expedition mode or in, in co-op. Hunter is like a good balance of being of still being fairly strong, but also not really having any downsides. Is this red gonna die immediately? Yep. That happens sometimes. Like the the artificer is significantly better at hunting. They can create explosives and they have better mobility. But I don't think I don't prefer hunting as artificer over. Over hunter. Because of the way Artificer's karma works, and also having to deal with scavengers all the time. While Hunter just has more difficult spawns, that's pretty much their only downside. If you ignore the cancer. That was close. Because the only, like, I don't like Hunter's campaign as much because you have to deal with the time limits that no other slug has to worry about. But in, in other game modes, you don't have to worry about a time limit. Okay, that was close. I dropped the mask. Also, being able to hold the spear on your back is very helpful and it's something I really missed when playing as any of the other slug cats. Cause it just makes combat way easier. You pretty much always have you can always double spear creatures and you might think that oh spear master can do that too, that their whole gimmick is being able to hold two spears at once, but that's not actually the case because you a lot of the times you want to hold on to some other item, like a vulture mask or a rock or a pearl. For, you know, you just might want to hold on to a pearl, no particular reason. Okay, there's not really as many pink lizards in Industria as I thought there would be. Well, probably because they've all been replaced by leaf lizards. So actually, I might head down. I might head back down to Oscars just to finish this first challenge. Also, I feel like Hunted might actually make score runs easier. If you could do a score run and um, have this burden on at the same time. Because all the creatures come to you, you don't have to traverse the whole region just to find them all. Like, look at this. This is a really good cycle. Well, that's mostly because of the vulture mask. If you were in a region that wasn't mostly, didn't have mostly lizards in it, then this would be much harder. And it, it will be once I leave like any of these early game regions. Okay, hold up. Chat kind of went a bit fast. Take a moment to read some of these older messages. Yeah, I think I found Spearmaster actually quite difficult. 
because like getting food is actually more difficult than you'd expect. It's easier on like vultures, like big creatures. Why are you here? But like hunter can just like kill a lizard and then eat it and they have like most of their food already, but Spearmaster only gets two food pips from most lizards. I can ask you. Oh, I didn't. You know, I just talked about getting food easily. Uh, I thought that Spearmaster did more damage than Hunter. But yeah, I still find it easier to kill as Hunter as well. Just because of the extra spear. You can hold a rock and two spears, hit a lizard with a rock and then throw both spears at them and that kills like most types of lizards. Whereas Spearmaster, you, if, you if you do the same strategy, you throw a rock and then you throw another spear. And then you have to generate a new spear which takes a few seconds to throw that again. And that might be enough time for the lizard to, to turn back around so you need to throw the rock again. And if it's a creature that takes multiple spear hits, then, you know, they might not be stunned from the stun long enough from that spear. And also, Spearmaster getting more damage is kind of goes against, like, getting food. Like, it's harder to get food when your creature, when the creatures die faster. I would actually like to see something. I'm not, I don't know how to make mods for Rain World at all. But I'd like to see, I'd like to make a reworked version of Spearmaster, where my idea is that they'd be able to generate spears a lot faster, like maybe two or three times faster than normal. Um, and spears also do a little bit less damage than normal. So you basically kind of become like a, a machine gun. You could rapid fire throw spears at creatures. But they would also still have just the same amount of fun timer as normal spears do. So most creatures would probably be stunlocked by throwing that many spears at them. And since you're throwing more spears, then... Oh, this... They're not dead. Since you're throwing spears faster, then you get food faster as well. Okay, that was... I almost hit them. And also, it wouldn't be... Okay. It wouldn't be as bad that you're only... If you're holding some other item, because you... They'll be able to throw spears rather quickly, just with just one hand. Alright, none of this works. I have another idea. Though. Cannibalism. Although this isn't a great situation. Now the red lizard is here. So I got a pearl, I might want to hold on to that. Just edit a save file, or edit a file to like change some values around. Well, you'd still want a mod to so they keep all those changes packaged up. I don't even know what I just did there. And I, I have no idea how to access the files. And... Oh, great! This happened again. So uh, this room is just about the same as it was last time. I, I find it funny that even the smaller types of lizards are still able to, to hunt the big centipedes. Look at these, both blue lizards have a, a full size centipede. Okay, I'd like to know where that pink lizard went. I knew there, there was at least one of them. 
Hunter can hold three spears. Yes, they can. If I had an extra spear, I'd sure case that right now. Okay, I, I wanted one of those pink lizards, not not a red, and I'm probably dead here. But luckily, the the red lizards are fighting each other. One of them's dead now. Okay, I want to go this way. That seems to be where all the pink lizards went. Yeah, all the pink lizards. Oh, great. I just completed the objective. I could have looked at the challenges, but I'm not going to do that. Because I think the first one was revealed. Alright. So here's how you do it. Hold the spear. Do this. You can hold on to two spears at once. And then another one on your back. The true spear master. That was a bomb. That, that's another bomb. This one, oh, the bomb. That's why they're all dead. Right, that makes sense. I might want to hold on to one of these explosive spears. Well. Goodness. I'm feeling this lizard might eat something else. Sorry, man. You know, it's probably actually tamed from that. Lizard. Fun fact, vultures can show up in this room. Okay, it is possible to... I know a way to... To hunt red lizards, but it's not consistent. If you, if you, like, if you throw a spear right as you crouch, you can sometimes go through there and still like hit them, and it stuns them for quite a while if you hit them in their head. But it's maybe it requires some timing that I'm not perfect at yet. Okay, there we go. Okay, <laughs> I, I think that's a that's a bug. The hidden challenges don't follow the same restrictions as your other. It's the ones that you've selected. So the rest of these challenges aren't hunting challenges. That's unfortunate. Also, three neurons delivered to me. Now I don't know if I should. Restart this expedition. I'd rather have all of them be hunting quests. And also, I don't want to deliver neurons. New expedition. <laughs> so, I guess they can't be... Can't be hidden challenges. Ten king vultures. Seven daddy long legs. These challenges are a little a little much. What'd you think? I actually like this one. It doesn't really have any difficult creatures, but it, they're they're quite spread out across the game. Like black lizards would be in like shaded or 
or filtration. Salamanders would be in like shoreline. Mother spiders, I have no idea where you'd find those as the hunter. Do this one. Hunted. Two red lizards, I'm down for that. Ten king vultures isn't that bad. I do want to get a mask again. Oh, this is right around the entrance to garbage wastes. Um, on Birdwatch, that's the one where you need to kill vultures and king vultures as hunter, right? I don't know. Just, uh, just, a uh, get good. <laughs> um, I don't know. If you want, you could try to get some perks. You can see the perks on the, the progression screen. Some like the, the rivulets. Mobility or or like explosive jumps, things like that might help you out. Um, but that challenge is mostly just killing vultures. So you figure out how to do that, and the rest of the challenge is pretty easy. There's actually a video. Someone made a video that's like a guide on how to kill vultures, it's really well made. You could try looking for that video. Another strategy is to go to shoreline to grab a jellyfish. So jellyfish makes vultures very easy to kill. Okay, I thought that that bomb would do something. I guess it was too far away. Keep getting more king vultures than normal ones. That's another problem that I that I had. I'd recommend grabbing one of those vulture grubs, the, the banana looking slug things. And you can enter a room where vultures show up and where you feel comfortable fighting them. And if it's a king vulture, then you can just leave and go to another room. Just repeat that process. Like if it's a king vulture, just leave immediately. Um, I have no idea what this vulture is doing. Hopefully it's injured enough to not fly away. The best strategy for killing vultures is just to pile up as many spears as possible. If you if you don't throw them fast enough, they're they're just gonna fly away. Also, both of these vultures are doing the same thing. No, I would like your map, please. This have to be difficult. Okay, there we go. That's a good spot. Okay, new mask. Not a King Vulture mask, but it'll still work. Oh, he jumped away just at the perfect time. Oh, 
I thought it was a green lizard for a second. That egg bug. Oh, now it's up there. Wow. Oh, no. So blue lizard is on the list. Okay, I have no idea what happened there. Was it just me, or was that vulture actually just holding onto a fruit for a second? And then that fruit blocked a spear that I threw at it. <laughs> Elongated vulture. Thing that most of the I've already passed most of the creatures in that region they piled up in that room earlier really. so I'll stay in the shelter Oh, I, I forgot to get the perks that gave me a uh, karma flower. That might be significant. <laughs> Son elite scav solo mirrors vulture. Yeah, they're elite for a reason. Also probably possible if they have an electric spear, because that actually makes them very easy to kill. Where's this lizard? There we go. Still an industrial, yep. Probably solo a Leviathan. I don't know about that one. But they're very, very powerful. Actually, I need to kill an elite scavenger. So maybe I shouldn't try to get my reputation up on them. Although I haven't seen a scavenger this whole time. Hey, one of them is a red lizard. So I should try to get that. Okay, I thought that might happen. Well, 
up there. I think there was still, should still be a blue lizard up here. Also, yellow lizards. At some point, I will have to go to Sky Island or something. Maybe the wall. I was thinking of going to the wall to look for elite scavengers, because I think they're still there for for Hunter. Either there or Chimney. Yeah, Artificer is difficult. It's a little it's a little bit easier because of the karma. Since you only have one max karma, you don't worry about losing any. But there's quite difficult spawns and scavengers trying to hunt you down. Since if you have a low enough scavenger reputation, they're gonna send like hunting squads to your general location. Why do rocks make lizards flip and not spears? Well, I don't know. But it's nice that they do, because using spear or using rocks is really helpful for fighting lizards. Also, and some advice for the artificer: if you hold down and explode. If you try to do an explosive jump but you're holding down, you'll do a parry, which is, it doesn't send you, like it doesn't, it's not used for movement, but it kind of knocks back creatures um, that are around you and it stuns them. It also can reflect spears, although it's a very difficult timing to do that. But it's really helpful to just like use an, use an explosive jump to land on a group of creatures and then parry and it stuns all of them long enough to give you a chance to to like kill some of them, or to get away if you're trying to escape. Also using grenades is pretty helpful, because they can help deal with a, a big group of scavengers, and it also detonates any explosives that they may be holding on to. And I don't think it's really worth it to make your spears into explosive spears, because like 90% of the time, uh, one spear is all you need to kill a scavenger, so you don't need to make explosive ones. But grenades are useful. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill one of these red lizards eventually. Here's some scavengers. Although this is a bit dangerous. So. That's why. Unless you spell to my death. Well, not death, there's water down there. I'm not gonna fight this red lizard this cycle. I'd rather save at this shelter that's close by. I guess I, guess I'm using the balance route. Also, you can tell if a scavenger is dead um, if they drop all their spears everywhere. The shelter. 
an early start to ruining scab rip. I, I wonder if more elite scavengers will show up if I have a lower reputation. So I, I haven't seen, I don't know if I've seen any as hunter, but I know that they're quite common as artificer in some regions. When a scavenger throws a spear at you right when it's dying, yeah. I wish that's... I wish that was a, a feature where, like, dying creatures do less damage. It sometimes happens with lizards where if they're injured and they bite you, they have a chance to drop you. But I also still think that there's a chance that they still kill you instantly like normal. Which doesn't really make sense if they're, like, very injured and struggling to walk around that they would still have the same bite force. Or maybe not, but it especially doesn't make sense for scavengers that they, they'd be injured and still kill you in one spear throw. Although it'd be kind of strange to be hit with a spear and not die. It's a bit strange when that happens with Gormon. Okay, I wanted to try to fight the red lizard, but it'd be nice if I dealt with some of these creatures here. I guess this explosive sphere will help with that. Red lizards are actually resistant to explosive spheres. They may not die in one hit. Oh, that one's already holding onto an egg bug. I would also like to not deal with this. White lizard. That, I think this guy's gonna get in the way. Yeah, I'd rather that lizard not be here. While rolling, Gormon can deflect spears. Really? I know that Gormon can survive a spear. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. Like, if you're rolling, you have a lower chance to die to, to spears, or if you literally can't get hit by them. That'd be interesting. Oh, come on, I missed that. There's also a chance that this... All right, how to, how to kill a red lizard. That was maybe a little bit close. I would like that mask to you want to peek your head into this pipe for a second. After killing a red lizard. There's a chance that I'd be able to snipe the, the mask off without having to fight it completely. Well, doing this again. I do have to worry about my karma dropping too low. I'll have to play it safe for a few cycles. That can happen too. It might have been because they were, because I was being stunned a bit, so I couldn't throw the spear properly, but sometimes it feels like that strategy just doesn't work. It's a, maybe a little bit of randomness or timing. That's like so precise that it, it feels random. Although karma's not good. 
Probably should have left the explosive spear back at the shelter. If I can get this guy, that'd be nice. Not if they fall down there. My plan there was to grab that other spear, but I fell a bit too far. If I go over to the shaded... I'm a little surprised that these centipedes aren't after me. to go back over here. Nice. All right. Okay, I'm dead, dead. There goes that expedition. Um, I'll try out new, new objectives. And also I'll get those perks back that I forgot to enable last time. Karma flower and passages. I feel like those I think those lizards had already seen me before, so they weren't scared by the like the timer on the vulture mask ran out by the time I saw them again. Try that again. I'd be fine with maybe one or two red centipedes, but three of them is that that's a lot. Also, 14 scavengers, so uh we're playing artificer today. Oh, I miss this message. Have I ever played as the inverted slug cat? No, and I don't want to. <laughs> well, pretty close to where you normally start off, Hunter. Considering center wings, I probably want to go straight to Sky Islands. Mix things up a bit instead of just going around industrial and in the outskirts the whole time. Make sure that I remember to keep the hunted burden on. In a streamer compilation, like the ones that, uh, I've seen one of those before that I was not in. Saying that there's a new one, or at least that I'm, I'm in. So I have not seen that. I hope that's not a king, it is not. They made a second one. I guess I'll have to check that out. Okay, that's easier than I thought it would be. Play another vulture doesn't show up. Nice to get a mask this early again. Although it's not as helpful against centipedes. Oh no, I would like the mask instead. grass over here. Okay, that was actually completely unnecessary. Okay. 
That happened. Maybe I should have held on to that sport puck. That's a pretty big one. I don't remember the karma requirement for Sky Island's Gate. It's either three or four. I shot the refraction slow down the bit. That was pretty good. Probably because someone clipped that on Twitch. If they're just looking through rainbow clips on Twitch, they might have seen that. By the way, I'm streaming on Twitch. If you want to watch there, instead of uh, instead of on YouTube. For, for whatever reason. the centipede I don't have to kind of interesting to play hunter without score being an important thing I'm kind of used to going for as many kills as possible even if I don't need the food because even if I'm not going like specifically for a score run I like to try to maximize score if possible because it makes it a little bit more interesting But in expeditions, that's not the priority. Sometimes you get the you get an objective for score, either total score over the whole run or score for a single cycle. I luckily have enough karma to go through here. I centipedes afraid of fueled weapons. I don't think so. Centipedes usually just don't care at all. Just like the larger a centipede is, the more likely it is to attack you. The smaller centipedes usually just ignore you completely. The smaller ones might run away. Like the, the small ones that you can eat without killing them first. And yeah, centi wings they... Well, I feel like centi wings just kind of ignore you. And then... After a few seconds, they they become aggressive. Centipedes kill for sport. It's kind of messed up. Yeah, that's something that I'm I'm still very confused about. Centipedes don't eat the the creatures that they kill. They just shock them and and then leave. I feel like they like they don't they don't carry creatures back to their dens, and they're not seen like ever collecting food. They just go around killing creatures because they like to, I guess. I do need to kill center wings, although that's not a good place for it because it's likely to just fall and fall off the map and then fly away. Okay, I thought that that was a bit close. I thought that centipede grabbed onto me. So I tried to get away, but. So it's kind of an awkward jump since you grab onto that pole upside down. They're doing a score run. 
Okay, that kind of worked out. Despite how small this platform is. That's a funny idea, other creatures going for score. I do need food though. This is everyone's favorite room as the hunter. Goodness. This is the consequences of hunted. I actually did see that drop a glass second. Okay, I would like to leave this area. If that's a center wing, I'd like to... Oh, but it's in this room. Unless it went down. It did. Scavenger. Yeah, scavengers are part of the goal. That'll be interesting. Oh, that would have hit them. They didn't leave. <laughs> I feel like one of these leap lizards might be aggroed now. Enough time has passed. If I was Fear Master, I might have hit one of those mushrooms. Ooh, that was close. And they took the spear. Okay, I'm just gonna shelter before I do something stupid. They dodge it if I'm that close. Ultra instinct. I kind of want to make a video um, putting the, the ultra instinct theme over creatures dodging spears. It's because uh, there's a decent amount of creatures like noodle flies, egg bugs, spiders, and scavengers that can dodge spears you throw at them. What is this guy doing? Sense of wings. No, that's just a regular size or a small one. Hmm, echo. Sure. I mean, actually, there's no reason to get it, but should I have a chance to test something here. If I kill the creature. And then get an echo, well that kill would be safe. So three three out of eight sent wings. Let's get the echo now. Expedition mode, no increase in max karma. So, three out of eight sent wings. So, kills do save even if you get an echo. That's good to know. 
So it'd actually be a decent strategy. I kind of want to try something later. Knowing that now. Probably not gonna find anything up there. This one's not dead. Sometimes it takes a while before they they actually die. Once a creature's I think the way it works is that once a creature's health goes below zero. They have a random chance to die every frame based on how much health, their, how negative their health is. Yeah, go ahead. That. Long centipede. So pretty much. Just the center wings is the only reason I'm down in Sky Islands. There's nothing else up here. One gets to eat, the other gets to die. That's how it is in Rain World. Not actually as many center wings as I thought there would be. What's these guys that cast little green ones? Um, let's not go that way. Hello. I mean, I'll go up here. I actually forget about this area because I just go up here to get the echo and then leave the islands entirely. There are more rooms up here. But some of these jumps are a bit difficult. I need that guy. Okay, two more. I feel like it'd be easier to shelter and then... Also, is this even possible without a... I'll find out. This is a whole mess. Yeah, it's definitely possible. You don't need a squid gator for this section. But this doesn't look great. Okay, there's that center wing there. I think that one's just trying to run away. shelter now. I think 
I know where to go from here. The extension to Sky Island is down that other pipe from the last room. This is an interesting song. I guess you get to hear it often. Also, I hear scavengers up here. There's a shelf here in this room, but also probably... No, they're gone. Okay, that was pretty clean. I guess I'll leave... I'll rip that. Let's go get it. I'll leave to chimney. And maybe to the wall. I feel like that's the best place to look for an elite scavenger. I'm not really sure if there's a good, a better place to look for them. Maybe garbage wastes. I'll, I'll probably go down to outskirts for dropways. Although that means I'd have to go to out outskirts. It's not exactly ideal as the hunter. There's a bunch of drop breaks there. Way too far away. That was a bit close. here if the jumps are a little bit dangerous just this one I might try to get a King Vulture Mask and Chimney with this Explosive Spear. Or die. I jumped a bit too late, so I didn't get the full jump from the... I didn't get a roll pass. I did the regular jump. That's unfortunate. We go back there and get the flower back. That's got to go. Somewhere down there. I can hit this noodle fly. For most creatures that have some kind of reputation system, I usually try to keep it pretty high. Also, I no longer have a explosive spear. I forgot that that was just one that was randomly on the ground. But I think I'd still like to... I'd like to go for a King Vulture. Or maybe... Okay, the same, same thing happened there. I didn't... I didn't get a roll pounce from that for some reason. Well, I didn't lose any karma. This is a situation that would usually be pretty bad for the hunter. Because... You don't ever get karma flowers normally. So you might... If you die... Um, 
that like I just did multiple times, then you might lose too much karma and you won't be able to get, get to Chimney Canopy, so you'll waste a cycle getting that karma back in Sky Islands where you may die again and have to farm for even longer. At which point, it'd probably just be better to, uh, to just restart the run. Especially if you're only in. Only in Sky Islands. Oh, that's still annoying. I have no idea where that scavenger went. Just immediately went back down this pipe and I got hit with that spear. I think I might, I think I might try just doing a regular, regular pounce here. Instead of doing fancy rolls. Although that platform is a bit deceiving since it it visually looks like it should be one block longer than it actually is. Well, I, still, I do have enough karma. It would have been close if I didn't have a karma flower. Actually, good thing that I found that scavenger, or else I wouldn't have enough food here. In fact, the the hunted burden hasn't really been that big of a problem. That was the echo active. This might actually be a good time to try to get a try to get a vulture. If any of them are going to show up, or I could try to go down and grab a, a vulture grub. Because vultures get stunned when there's an echo nearby. Unless this is it wants to block the pipe down. Yeah, I want to try that. Go down and grab a, grab a vulture grub. I can do some vulture cheese. Was oh, this one inactive too? Luckily, there is a grub right in here. Oh, Leon, there's something in my stomach. No. How do you manage to talk the whole time? I have no idea. Just, just comments on random and pointless things. <laughs> I also like to talk about like my strategies and what I'm planning. So even if you're not doing anything interesting, you might do something interesting in the future and you can talk about that. sacrifice. Not dead yet, so it's hard to get their mask off. I didn't see the, the highlight video, but I someone else mentioned that. And I did not I did not submit a clip.
you don't. I think the the clip that is in that video is just one of the one of the clips on Twitch. So if you want to make a compilation of interesting or funny moments from a game, you can just look up that game on Twitch and then search up clips for that category. And my clip would be included in that. Also, I, it seems like you were the one who, who made that clip. Okay, let's get this echo. Well, do I want to get this echo? Not really a reason to, and it makes this area easier to cross. Because there's no vultures. So I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna get this. The echo. And that can happen. Okay, I there's a handful of drop wigs up here, but I'm also looking for scavengers. I don't know. Wait, are there even scavengers here? As the the hunter, probably not. Right it's after the artificer, right? But I do, I do know that I've seen elite scavengers as hunter, or else this would be an impossible quest. Okay, luckily I didn't mess that up. But I think I've seen scavengers, or at least scavengers down in chimney. Is that a... Okay, almost fell off there. What is going on? Oh, specifically in this area, you can find a decent amount of scavengers. Which is kind of mean, because there's also a shelter over here. Play on 60 FPS? Yes. Goodness, what is going on? Just kidding, I actually play at two frames per second. Sorry. Alright. <laughs> Something just happened. My monitor is actually 75 hertz, so and I thought I changed the setting to make it 75 for Rain World 2. I don't know if that's an option. All right, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I thought that was actually a setting that I changed, but. That's 60 right now.
Although I'm not gonna change that setting right now. I'm not exactly sure what the interaction is, but it might be better to keep it at 60 FPS if I'm recording videos at that frame rate. Because when recording for videos, I, I like to have it at 60 FPS. But that's too much to... My computer doesn't like doing that for long periods of time, so... It's only 24 for live streams, since it goes on for much longer. A nice dodge. So if I'm recording a video at 60 frames per second and playing at 75 frames per second, it might mess it up somehow. Although I don't know if that, that would be noticeable. King Vulture is still here, but I think it's busy with that noodle. Italian Vulture. So there's a, there's a decent chance that there's scavengers that show up right in this shelter. Like, or one of the dens right next to it. Or not. Although sometimes it takes a little while for them to come out. I wonder if you kill a creature while you have a vulture mask and another lizard is watching, if it makes them like more scared of you. I feel like if you're just a slug cat, right, they don't care. Right, they're not scared of a slug cat, but it, they're just scared of you when you have a vulture mask because it's kind of their instincts to be, to be like, to run away from vultures, right? But if you if you kill a creature, it doesn't matter if you're a slug cat. You still are dangerous, and maybe that justifies their them thinking that um, that you're a vulture instead. So I managed to get a, a dropwood kill, even though the vulture already had one. It's bat bat fly zone. Decent chance at finding scavengers here. Goodness, <laughs> that room's a uh, few creatures in it. I would like to leave. Them. This vulture mask is making this way easier. Although there's usually a lot of spiders in. Yeah, that was actually very lucky. I didn't die to that. I didn't get hit by it at all. But there's usually a ton of spider spiders in this. 
next turn. Swamp lizard? Yeah, it's an eel lizard. By the way, secret area down here. You didn't know. Also, just as important, there's a ghost right there. Most important thing here. Um, don't accidentally hit a garbage worm. What's he doing up here? I don't know. Maybe from the gutter. That's actually probably most likely. The gutter probably counts as part of chimney, so they came up here to get me. That's the weird kind of things that you see when you're hunted. I think I'm going to leave the explosive spear in here since I'm hunting scavengers now. Although, there's plenty of explosive spears. I just don't like wasting explosive spears on creatures that die from or um or they can just take them off. I'm, not, I'm just not going to bother with these. That one has a... That's me. Add me. Oh yeah. Happy early birthday. I will be streaming tomorrow if you want to hop by for a second, but... Of course, if you have other things going on, you don't have to. Hello, I need to kill you. Thank you. Yep, yeah, this is what happens when you're hunted. Just every single creature in the whole region comes after you. I kind of want to do something if they do that again. They all just end up running away. I'd actually like them to come back. Although this one's aggroed on me now. Oh, here's the scavengers. Yeah, just kidding. They, they all killed themselves. I'll hold on to the grenade. One of them just died to that pole plant. Oh, excuse me, just passing by. Also, something kind of evil that I've found. There is a red lizard in this room. As the artificer. I don't know why I went back through that pipe. I was holding off. Actually, there, it's, it's not in this room, but there's a red lizard in the room above this one on the way up to the to the pearl. But it's very likely that that lizard falls down into that room and it can't escape, so it just sticks around there. And it really sucks if you're trying to get a karma flower because you need to get you need a karma flower for echoes to activate. That's the artificer. I think I'll head back over to the other area I was looking for scavengers in. Which is over here. This isn't the safest place to throw a grenade.
and it's just completely empty. Every single creature went down to that one room and then they're no longer where they should be. I guess that's another property of being hunted. Creatures kind of like come after you early on and then they're gone for the, they're like, they leave every other place in the region. And if you can get, if, if you can get past that one room where they're all piled up, then you'll be fine. Okay, okay. So I was a little too close. That's what I was talking about with the um, scavenger showing up <laughs> immediately. Okay, luckily this karma flower didn't fly away. So it did get elongated. I still need to kill some more scavengers. That was a decent amount of progress. Sometimes they like to hide in your shelter. Upgrades. Oh, Just throw the spear right into the wall. Guys, wanna come out any day? Sometime in the next um, next hour. I hit them eventually. I think those scavengers came out. I guess they'd be aware of my location, so they were... Although... King Vulture. <laughs> Let's go this other way. I don't know if there'll be any scavengers over here. So might as well check. Being hunted means that every creature in the region knows which room you're in. And if they have an aggressive AI, then they will chase after you. Just doesn't mean that every single creature will be chasing you, but the ones that would normally hunt you, like lizards, most of the time it's lizards, they, they try to move to which room you're in. Even though I have a mask, like normally a lizard would be scared away because I'm wearing the mask, but they just know that I'm in this room, in one of these rooms. So they get here, and then they run away because they see I have a mask. Also, I did not know that there were these spiders in here. But I don't have a quest to kill them, so I will ignore them. Also, those, those spiders are kind of a trap. If they grab onto you, you might want to spear them to get them off, but then you're just going to be covered in small spiders. So don't do that. Not recommended. I think it's this. One of these leads down to where there's more scavengers. Could have, gotten, could have gone down either of those. Oh, actually, if I wanted to hunt those green spiders, the, the gutter would be a good place to look. Uh, well, I'm back here. Just did a whole loop around the region. I have yet to see an elite scavenger. I feel like garbage waste would be the best place to check next. Since that's usually where scavengers are most common. Kind of around the area where... Oh, come on, yeah. Take both of those spears. Why don't you? Maybe around the area where Artificer starts. The kind of entrance in from Shaded. 
between shaded and garbage waste, that is. Okay, I, I wouldn't have killed him if he got out of the way. Same thing might happen in this cycle where all the creatures pile up in this room. There's a dropping. I would not like to use my explosive spear on it. Of course, there's this pole plant in the way. Like, five lizards just came out of that five at once. And I just also fused with that blue lizard. And also, this, that cyan lizard now has that drop book that I wanted to get. But I still got the kill for it. I think I'm going to, yeah, leave this area. I'll look for scavengers in another region, and there's not too many drop wigs up here. Sounds pretty chaotic in a good way, yeah, in a rain world kind of way. Like all those lizards coming out of the pipe at the same time. I managed to hit an egg bug I didn't even know it was here. This would be significantly more difficult if I did not have a vulture mask. Because with the vulture mask I can just run straight into rooms with lots of, with lots of lizards and not really be worried. Alrighty, I thought too good. Although lizards aren't scared of vulture masks forever. There's a cooldown. So once they see you for the first time, after some delay, they will eventually realize that you are just a slug cat and attack you like normal. Hello. For the first few seconds of waking up in a shelter, um, creatures aren't aggressive towards you. So I was just chilling with that lizard and it didn't want to get me. Classic rain roll. It, it knows I'm right here. That's how you get past red lizards. Okay, this is a good place to look for damagers. Specifically, down here. It's also a good place to die as scavengers. Oh, and droplets. Somehow I managed to kill a creature with a spear underwater. Yeah, that was actually kind of a risk. I could have picked up a, a grenade there without realizing, but it's a rock instead. No scavengers in there. Oh, I just barely hit the, the top of that platform. 
I'm gluing myself up. Or a drop work. I do need food, although the point isn't dead. Another explosive spear. Not really sure if I should have these. I'm gonna show you guys something cool. If you have an explosive spear and you throw it into the ground like this, you can't die from it. I was standing right next to that spear. You can die if someone throws an explosive spear directly into your face. That does kill you still. But if you throw a if you throw a spear down or explosive spear down, it can't kill you. You can actually take advantage of that to to launch yourselves great distances. Although it's a little bit hard to control and the the time it takes for a for the spear to detonate, it's randomized. Some of that didn't hit that movie. This is very dangerous. Because I'm just gonna leave. There's a decent chance that I'll break free of that spear. And it, it's bites are still completely lethal. Even if it looks like it should be injured. Why is there always a red lizard there? Uh, there's always a red lizard there. It's consistent. Most spawns are actually very consistent. So you can always expect to find a red lizard there if you're playing as the hunter or some of the other slug cats that have hunter spawns. I think I already got enough food from that. Yeah. Okay, nothing in there. Spend too much time looking at the map. Okay, I have an idea. I think it, I should probably get drop wigs first. So I'll head over to outskirts. There's a bunch of drop wigs there. I'll complete that quest and then I'll go to garbage wastes. There won't be any spoilers. Uh, no, there shouldn't be. I'm only going to be exploring regions that were already in the game, and this isn't a new campaign. This is the same as regular Hunter. The only thing new here is the Hunted Burden at the top of the screen there, because I'm playing Expedition Mode. And when you're being hunted, every creature in the region knows which room you're in. And if they if they want to hunt you down, they will they will find you. They will go to the room you're in. But that was already a mod uh, before downpour. Although, actually, there might be a region that I'm going to go to that's kind of new, like an extension of an old area. So that depends how much of the of downpour you've seen. Have you have you played Artificer yet? Yeah, 
There's plenty of drop here. Not yet, okay. Well, we're not we're not there yet. It'll take a while to get there. I'm just gonna be hunting drop wigs for for a while. That's the next quest I'm working on. That looks to the man and survivor. So you haven't even gotten started with downpour with the new content. Well, then there might be some spoilers for the hunters campaign, although it's mostly just new creatures. Like how there's drop wigs in this room instead of lizards like there are for survivor. Might be dangerous to take this grenade, but might as well. Don't really need that vulture grub. That was just to get this king vulture mask. I only need three more drop wigs. I might be able to get that if these drop wigs respawn immediately. This one has. I forgot to take the grenade. Oh no, I put it in my stomach. Okay, all these drop wigs are here, so. Oh, you need an extra one. Okay, that was kind of close. Expedition mode, yes. My current quest is to... Well, I just completed it. It was to kill some drop wigs. The main challenge here is the hunted... Burden. It makes it so that all creatures know your location. So if they... They're a lizard. Or a centipede. Or a spider, you know, they'll... I'll move to the room that I'm in, like that pink lizard over there. I forgot to eat them. Oh yeah, centipedes too. Although there's usually plenty of those in that room, normally. Hopefully... I can I can get that karma flower back from industrial. It's still there. Hardest is dark mode. Uh I don't think that one is as difficult. I didn't have too much problem with it. I just think it's kind of annoying to be in, in darkness all the time. Like it doesn't even it's not even completely black, like like shade it is, it's just like kind of dark. So it's just, it's just like more annoying, I think. Oh yeah, I need to head down this way. I think that Hunted makes the biggest difference just in terms of gameplay. Okay, I picked up their, I picked up their grenade and immediately threw it. Oh, it depends on the room. Yeah, probably. Although I have gone through shaded with the with the darkness, and it's actually brighter than normal. You can see more with the with the with the blinded burden than than you can see in shaded normally.
Okay, all of these drop wigs are in a perfect position so that I can't spear them immediately. Maybe in some areas in like subterranean or maybe it's harder to see in there. But I've only been a handful of regions with the blinded burden. Mostly for the for that one mission as a survivor where you bring a neuron from pebbles to moon. Yeah, the that burden. That's pretty much the most I've seen of that. This expedition right here, well, I, there's been a few attempts, a few failed attempts, but this is my first attempt at a, a full expedition with multiple, like, five challenges. With, with one of the, with the, one of the burdens. I think I've done Pursued before, too. Yeah, this one plus whatever burdens were part of the, the missions. They always show up when you get enough food to hire me. Definitely have to get used to dealing with them as the hunter. They're significantly more common. Okay, I'm actually... I'm gonna shelter here so I don't... have another scavenger incident. Have I come across the stowaway yet? Yes, I've also died to them multiple times. <laughs> the There is one burden that I haven't even touched at all and it's doomed. Which means that... Actually, I have, I have played with doomed as the survivor. So it was with a bunch of like perks, so it was pretty easy. And it's not nearly as bad with the Karma Flower, but Doomed is probably the worst for long-term expeditions. If you have like a lot of difficult quests that are going to take a, a long time to complete, then if you're if you're doomed, then like the whole expedition can end at any moment, because that makes it so that it's permadeath, right? Normally, the way it works for expeditions. Is that if your karma drops to the lowest level and you die again, then the expedition ends. And you have to restart from the beginning. Oh, the karma flower is still here. But for doomed, then if you die without a karma flower, then it ends. No matter your karma level. Although your karma level is still relevant for gates like normal. Hello, large lizard. Probably going to lose these spears going through this room. Not if I do that. Nice. I didn't get any food. Probably should have gotten that that lizard. There's plenty of plenty of shelters and garbage though. Also, this is my first time returning to garbage waste as the hunter in a very long time. I don't usually go this way.
perfect. There were two of them in there. Well, I need to find where my mask went. Ideally, I would just... Hold on, I'm just gonna get rid of these guys. While you are holding on to a snail, it cannot pop. And it will once you throw it after a short delay. Here's the explosive screen. Luckily, they can't detonate them. Okay, where'd that mask go? Garbage waste. There's a secret scavenger place. Like one of the hideouts where they store weapons. That's also on the route to the scavenger pole. Unless that's what you're referring to. I still don't have any food. That's a drop wig holding a fruit. I have no idea how I didn't die earlier to that scavenger. Hello? Okay, this one's dead. I was right in between a drop wig and a scavenger for a while. I was kind of struggling to pull out my explosive spear on my back. That place with all those scavengers is exactly where I'm heading to. They're dangerous. Very aware. How long it takes for them to throw a spear is dependent on some of their hidden variables. Most creatures have some kind of variation to their stats that may not be immediately visible. But scavengers have the most variation out of any creature, I think. So based on a bunch of random stats, they may throw a spear at you instantly, or they may hesitate for a bit. Hello, I did not see you. Drop rigs are probably one of the more dangerous creatures when live streaming. Because I think that there isn't anything dangerous, so I look down at the chat. And then there is something dangerous all of a sudden. Did I just double jump? Did I? You mean you talk you mean this? Although that's that's an bad screen transition. And there's a red centipede. This is where I'd like to be spear master. Because so I can just keep throwing a ton of spears at that centipede. But I have a way to get past it. Not so bad. Although, there's a drop right here. That's unfortunate. And that poor scavenger too showed up at the worst time. Hold up, okay, so this? Are you referring to this double jump? 
If you're hugging a wall, well, okay, if you're on a wall, you can wall jump away from it, right? But if you leave the wall, you can still have like a split second to jump. So you can you can kind of move away from the wall and still do a wall jump. Give a little bit of leniency, but if you're hugging a wall on the ground, you can do a normal jump and then that buffered wall jump. Just by jumping a second time. When I first learned about that, I thought it was one of the like most useless movement techs in the game. Like, that's cool, but are you ever going to need to jump twice off of a wall? But turns out there's a handful of areas where it is actually helpful. And sometimes it can save you using a spear. Although I'm also kind of looking for places to use it specifically. When there's there might be an easier alternative. That's unfortunate. I'd rather not risk going down there. be hard to, to make that jump. You know what? I'm going to fight this red centipede. Okay, that's unfortunate. I threw one spear in the wrong direction and I died for it. Because if, if a red centipede grabs on, or if any centipede grabs onto you, you can just immediately throw a spear and you'll be, you'll escape. But centi red centipedes are the fastest at actually getting around to shocking you. I'm going to have to get through that room eventually. Because that leads to the damages, although I can also try going this route. If you didn't know, there's a secret entrance down right here. If you want to go to, into this bottom route. It's one of the few secret like shortcuts in base game because downpour thought it was a good idea and decided to add many more of those shortcuts. Maybe I shouldn't have used my spear there. I was trying to get past the the garbage runners fast enough so they couldn't take my spear. Red centipedes are much harder to kill in garbage wastes because all the train is uneven and you don't have a good don't have a good place to, to hunt them but it's a perfect place for them to hunt you Hold up. that wasn't as good but in in if you're in like a wide like flat open area it's actually like fairly easy to kill them well fairly hello Oh, I guess I just didn't wanna. I would like some food so I can stay in this shelter. I could get more scavenger kills in this area. Okay, just throw all of my spears into the wall. Oh yeah, you can't you can't pick up a spear to put it on your back. You have to pull the spear off from your back. I'm gonna have to fight this guy in here. Okay, I I grabbed onto the the pink lizard and I couldn't let go of it. Also, eventually I'm gonna have to go back and find that karma flower that I dropped earlier. Hopefully I can find food before I get to that shelter. So I can get some karma back. Although that room is property of the red centipede. If I can get this drop wood. 
Maybe from the other side. Or this small centipede. There's enough food in this area. <laughs> if you're struggling to deal with drop rigs, sometimes it helps to throw some other creature at them to bait them to drop down. And at that point, you can either just run past or try to hit them with a spear. Single drop rate. Good cycle. What if it's possible to get up there? Not if I do that. Well, it's a bit risky going up here again. Yeah, sometimes if you have good scavenger reputation, they'll like to follow you around. It does shoot you. Well, that depends actually. Three pearls should be enough, at least as a survivor. Three pearls should be enough to make them at least neutral with you. At which point, it just depends on the individual scavenger whether they're going to attack you or not. Because they, they may feel threatened by your presence or scared or maybe they're just aggressive. There you go, that's how you kill the red centipede. Except, and also get stuck inside of it with the drop wood. Sometimes that happens where centipedes will be chasing you, but if you stop moving, they won't. They'll stop moving too. You just have some time to. Oh great, I'm in Ohio. <laughs> Violated that centipede. <laughs> this is one of the most dangerous. Rooms in the game. Oh great, that was a centipede right there. Didn't mean to throw that. Down into the right. Oh great. Well, there goes that centipede go. It's a war. I have a I have another plan actually. I actually just realized um that red centipede is only in that room because it is chasing after me. So it kind of moves slowly in this direction. Usually that centipede is a few rooms over. Well yeah, I think it's just one room over, but that, that big room that was really chaotic, that's usually where that centipede is. Because, but because it was, well, you would think that it would be a little bit more aggressive trying to hunt me down. It kind of, it didn't seem to move too far from that area. Hello, Vulture. Please get that good cave instead, thank you.
think if you wear two masks at the same time, Blizzards will be double scared of you. I don't think they've ever seen a two-headed centipede before. Or, vulture. Where'd my spear go? Okay, apparently I lost both of those. This is why I don't usually go through garbage waste. It's even worse without a mask when the leaf lizards are after you too. Can we get up here, please? All right, we're not. And also, these garbage friends like to take all of your spears. Also, there's a bug where if a if a garbage worm takes your spear in some in some situations, you drop the other item you're holding onto. Can you push your please down? Thank you. Maybe if, if they take a spear up from your back, then you drop a, the item you're holding for some reason. The last bogey is bad. It's not too bad in this area, other than swarms of leeches. That's just, that's just great. That's wonderful. I do have a passage, so I don't have to worry about karma. If it drops too low, that I can just passage to this shelter and I'll regain your karma. If you didn't know, passages also refill your karma. Instead of just tele teleporting you. Okay, I'm going to try going this way again. But I won't fight the red centipede. I still managed to take that spear, but I got it back. You could eat cherry bombs. Well, if you want to be the artificer, go ahead. But it would stun you for 10 seconds. Like, it'd still get you, it'd still get you food. Please get another creature that isn't me. I didn't even know that was a pole plant. I'll be honest. When a king vulture fights a red centipede, the red centipede usually wins. I have no idea what might be in this next room. Nothing. That's nice. Although whatever it might be in this next room over, it's not, it's not good. Centipedes would be way worse if their AI was slightly different. Because they have really good mobility. Yeah, I need some food. I think there's a scavenger down here. Just heard one pick up a spear. Yes, there are two. Although I don't want to deal with two scavengers. Okay, this is kind of an awkward room to fight a scavenger. It's like if I hit this one, it's just gonna fall down there. There we go. Hello. Hello. That was a bit close. Okay, this room has now become significantly more dangerous. Green lizard and centipede. Maybe I can just kill this guy instead. Oh, that, that lizard too. Welcome to the party. Okay, that's enough food. However, it's... Yeah, some explosions for good measure. I think the red centipede might be in this. This is what happens when, you, when you're when you hunted. All the creatures want to be in here. Because they're after me. I 
You know, let's go another way. I have, a, I have another idea. But hopefully it doesn't involve getting snailed. Looks like that's enough scavenger kills. Nice to get that, finally. But there is another shelter over here. Situation's escalating. This place is a lot quieter. Once all the creatures gather up in one place, you can just go to go somewhere else and there won't be anything there. There probably would have been centipedes in this room, but they probably were chasing after me in that other room. Might as well get my karma up. Also, I have yet to see an elite scavenger. Anywhere. Um, I don't know if this challenge is possible. I don't know if they show up as the hunter. I sure hope they do. Because I thought that garbage waste would be the best, best place to check. I don't want to go that way. That's to the leech room. But I still have to get to check the area that I was going to originally. I'm not exactly sure where that is, so we'll just have to look around a bit. I still have to kill, kill an elite scavenger. Yes. Hello. Elite centipede. This is somewhere where that double jump thing is pretty useful. Unless you mess it up, like I just did. <laughs> Unless there's a red centipede in the way, that usually makes it more difficult. As it does in most situations. Have you seen them in Metropolis? Yeah, maybe I'll check the wall. Like, I... Well, I thought that there wouldn't be scavengers up there. Hello. Wonderful centipede. See how quickly that, that centipede made it over here? Oh, but the, the karma flower is down there. That's not where I wanted to put that, but I think that might still help. This room doesn't help either. Okay, it seemed like that I wasn't going through the pipe. I wanted to I wanted to go back through, but I was stuck on the ground. The thing is that if I stay in the other shelter, then I'm just going to be even closer to the centipede. Start of a cycle. As long as I get back my Karma Flower every time, it'll, it'll be fine.
I wonder what caused that. Bit of a bit of a situation here. You could just get distracted and fight that drop leg. Oh, it's much easier to do that from here. At night on the wall. That might be a good thing to check. I was probably used to just do that wall jump. The last area I want to check is up here by the scavenger total. Except for except for this guy. Anyone have any idea what just happened? I was the centipede was like halfway into the other room, <laughs> and then it shocked me and dragged me through the through the pipe. All right, I thought I was safe. Just came to be running away at that point. You're never safe from a red centipede. Debating whether it's worth it to stay in garbage waste. I heard that there were problems with um with expedition mode for a while. Um because it wasn't originally designed with the, the extra slug cuts in mind. And so like some of the slug cats have have completely different spawns. Like if you had a mission to to kill like a bunch of pink lizards as the rivulets. That'd be very difficult because there's only a handful of pink lizards in the entirety of Ravilith's campaign. I hope it's not coming back here. Thank you. That might be the case here. It gave me the quest of killing elite scavengers, but it didn't expect that there wouldn't be any. Although it'd be kind of strange to give a quest for a creature that's unique to a single campaign or at, like two campaigns so the artificer and spear master usually where you find elite scavengers maybe i just need to lower my reputation even more for a for a kill squad to show up that might include a an elite scavenger and maybe that's why i've seen so many as the artificer because kill squads show up by default for artificers, so maybe I need to like lower my reputation as much as possible. I'm going to do something here. I would have done something there. Okay, that what what is up with that? Come on, man. Okay, thank you for leaving. It's about to rain. No. The rot is blue instead of is brown instead of blue. It's usually it's usually brown there. It's only blue for slug cats earlier in the timeline. At least within garbage wastes. If I can ever figure out a consistent way to do this, it seems to work fine. This fruit. I can't tell if it was throwing that at me or the overseer. <laughs> Is 
So out of everywhere in the game, this I feel like this would be where you'd more, most likely to find an elite scavenger. Although I probably should have tried to pick up a grenade or something. Don't mind the, the droplet. No elite scavenger there. One of them was pointing at me. If only had a singularity bomb. That, that would make this easier. You can actually make a singularity bomb in the expedition road. Maybe that wasn't the smartest idea. Of course, of course the red centipede was there. Where else would it be? Oh, here's a grenade. Maybe I'll just bait the red centipede into this room and cause some chaos. I don't really like this situation. I'm still alive. Uh, not anymore. Here's the thing, all right? I want to... Oh, great. Now my karma flower is over there. I just realized that that's a problem now. Hmm. Here's a problem. No longer have the mask. I can get another one fairly easily, though. What it would be really helpful for the wall. Also, that music took priority over over passage music. I still had a vulture grab, I could get one fairly easily. Unless the vulture just wants to drop down from the sky for me. I would appreciate it. I don't know if vultures are still affected in this room though. Fast channel is limited, that is true. by the time you get to the very end of this room there's barely any echo effect at all whoops so up here a lot of vultures vultures in here they always show up at the worst time possible but then when you're actually looking for them they don't want but here's one okay I I had a thought that maybe three spears would be enough to stun it so it wouldn't shoot that but uh I'm trying to get a mask. I'm I'm not hunting the vulture for food. 
because I'd rather go up the wall with the mask. Makes it a lot easier, especially when I'm hunted. Well, now the echo isn't here. That changes anything. I just flip there. If the vulture wants to show up right now, that'd be nice. I could lure it into this tunnel. Thought I oh yeah, there is one right here. This is actually a very good place to hunt for vultures. Did leave? Okay, actually smart vulture not coming into this tunnel. Now there's just a regular one. I don't really understand what you're trying to say right now. Angel? Oh, is there a king vulture? I'd rather not. Yeah, come a little closer. Wow, I did not think he'd be able to hit me if I, after moving behind it. Maybe I should've just stuck with the regular mask. This is bad. Maybe. I still don't even know if there's going to be elite scavengers at the wall. Okay, that's the room that I don't want to see vultures in. And now this time a vulture is showing up immediately. I guess I could still try to find it. Me, I'm the Spear Master. Yeah, yeah, come here. Hate live streams, but I make them good. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I would assume that you could probably find other live streams that are a lot better. Thanks, anyway. Okay, this I'm only gonna take this mask. No need for a vulture or a king vulture. Right, uh, Karma. And now, uh, now a King Vulture shows up. At least some of those probably hit them.
when the karma gate is uh, two karma points away. Yeah, let's, just, uh, let's just do this. I'll tell you what happened there. I tried to do a, do an extended instant hop to make that jump, but I did it after a turnaround. So it saved the turnaround to, so I made me do a backflip, which gives me a lot less distance. And so now I have to do this again, but I guess I can see the echo for no reason. If only there was a, a karma gate or a, a shelter right before the right before the wall. Let's see if that fixes a lot of problems at this little area. You good? That's the real difficulty in fighting vultures, they just run away. Right after you hit them with like two or more spears. These characters appear where I am now, in Chimney. I've already spent quite a while looking for scavengers here, though. So it might just be a low chance, or maybe my reputation wasn't low enough for them to show up. I suppose I'll try looking around here again. Saving those for last, the elite scavenger? Well, then it's black lizards, which is gonna take me all the way down to shaded or filtration. So I'm I need to get this done. And I tried to get it first because I was looking for a I was looking for an elite scavenger the whole time I was in. That, that was interesting. The whole time I was in Chimney, I was looking for an elite scavenger, but I never found one. That's really how it's going to happen. No, he's too injured. Although, the spear went somewhere else. Okay, I got stuck. I, who knows what's happening? I'm just going to go. Just go. Now there's a vulture. I would like your mask, but uh, I can't bother with that anymore. Oh, there's a drop hook right there I didn't even see. Okay. Thanks, dude. They, they're... And at the drop, we got me. This region sometimes feels a lot different without a mask. And of course, stuff like this happens. His turbo cancer makes him weaken, so I don't think that's the, the main problem. Yeah, it's the permadeath. Luckily, that's not the case in Expedition. That's why I think in Expedition, they're one of the better options. Although the time limit is important for score runs, because it gives some kind of limit to the amount of score you can get. 
for every other slug cat, you can just keep going on forever. At which point, like, you can get an infinite square, right? Excuse me. Quite rude, you know. So it's pretty much the score runs are only like balanced as the hunter. Doesn't really work for the others like that. So, but I understand that not everyone's gonna want to play the game for for score runs. But the fact that that's an option, I think, is important. Although there's other options for score stuff, like um, like expedition. There's challenges for getting enough points. I would like to fight a regular vulture. That's not a regular vulture. That's a regular vulture. It's just a little... I don't like the other one. That was such a... That was awful timing. And now I'm I'm losing karma again. I might, I might have to end the stream. It's... it's Kind of going on for a while, and th these last two objectives just elite, just one single elite scavenger. I've not been able to find a single one, otherwise, I'd probably be done with this already. near the scav dens. So I've already checked in that area. The the shelter below this one. I was there for a while. At least could be lineage. Oh, great. That I have to do this. Just stay in one shelter and kill scavengers every time and repeat. Well, there is one place I would like to be then. If I could get anywhere. That's what the second time I've, um, I've entered a, a pipe and, you know what, hold up. Unfortunately, I have not stayed in that shelter. Well, um... This one? Because there's... Well, I don't have any spears. So I would rather stay with them. So now I have to... Because sometimes scavengers show up right outside this den. Good morning, Spear. The only way to start your day, being speared in the face. And of course, this time I'm actually looking for the scavengers and they don't show up. Or just cheat. Well, I don't know how I'd do that. Because I don't have the option to spawn in creatures right now. I don't have that mod. I thought I might have jumped a little too early there. Just so maybe you can tame noodle flies. You technically can. If you bring noodle fly eggs into a den, they'll hatch the next time you wake up. And they'll follow you around for a bit. But I think they'll, if they find a bigger noodle fly, they'll just follow them around instead. 
because you can't do anything for the... You can't... You can't tame the bigger ones. There's, there's a... A lot of spiders over there. Don't attack me. Thank you. <laughs> Just jump off the edge. I think there's a... Yep. There is something over there. just drops down. And I don't have any food. This grenade definitely won't result in my death in the future. You sure you don't see these eels. Uh oh. It wasn't me, it wasn't me. Safe with your extra spears. Don't mind me, scavenger. Just, just eating some food. Oh come on, that was that almost got them. Well, I have no reason to go after them. Hey, I didn't, I didn't throw the spear. Well, I don't think they can really kill me in this room. Just throw me around. They're, they're only dangerous if you're around water. And they can drown you. Okay, I'll try staying around this shelter. Because there's scavengers around here. And maybe I can lineage one of them. I I'm looking for scavengers, not spiders. Although, I've been in this area a few times and... Oh! <laughs> Average scavenger interaction. I saw an elite for just a second there. Okay. Bit, of, bit of chaos. But it immediately left. That counted. Do I have enough food? Yes. I... I was incredibly close to just dying immediately. All right, that's that objective done. <laughs> We're done here. No more, no more chimney. No more scavengers. I feel like I've been running out of passages. Uh, not chimney. I would like to go to outskirts. I stayed in any of the good shelters. No, not really. Yep, I probably will still deal with scavengers. I get to do one of my favorite parts, one of my favorite areas in the game. have to speed run this last objective if I want to finish this this stream although the next few rooms that I want to go through are kind of awful and might include just a handful of fairly large centipedes
Okay, that was clean. Oh, great, red lizard. They're leaving. I didn't mean to come back up here. <laughs> so normal rain world. Okay. Well, th this is specifically, I'm referring to the, the expedition mode objective, or burden. Every creature knows my location at all times. Though I'm being more actively hunted than, you know, whenever creatures see you, they kind of just go after you. Like a normal rain room. This is significantly more difficult since every single creature in the region is after you at all times. Well, not really, but if they're hungry and they don't see any other creatures, then they'll know where you are. So getting to this first shelter and drainage might be quite difficult. Maybe I should have stayed in the outskirts shelter. <laughs> that might have been a good idea too. Come on, they caught me. Well, this stream might not go on for a while. One objective left. 11 black lizards, so it'll still take a while. Sometimes centipedes perfectly turn around so that the side of them that has the spear. Uh, like you're not able to grab it. Most creatures aren't large enough for that to be a problem. Hold on, can you please get out of the way? Okay, we're through. There are going to be a lot of centipedes in this next room. Or maybe the room after this one. Probably in this room. No. Okay, surely in this room. Okay, I don't know where all the centipedes went. There's usually like five of them in that, in at least one of those rooms. Goodness. Hold up. Um, I'm gonna restart the game. A little worried about something. Just that might this might help. Yeah, that cycle was a lot cleaner than it should have been. Let's just continue right where I left off. Okay, I don't know if it's normal for Rain World to use 90% of your CPU. Yeah, that's that's maybe an exaggeration. But that that was total CPU usage. And Rain World was the main contributor. Oh, even Hunter gets tides in this area. I didn't even know that. I knew that there were tides for or the the moving the water moving up and down that happened for the for the artificer. So you could actually get through this area. I didn't know it still carried over to Hunter. I think that's supposed to tell you that drainage system was more active earlier in the timeline and something broke and it kind of just became more flooded at all times.
Damn, these leeches know exactly where I am. How am I gonna get through here? I wonder if I, there's, I'm gonna see any creatures like come after me and through this area. Cause usually you don't see anything all the way up until filtration. I also think that filtration might be horrible if every single mole lizard piles into a single room. That would not be ideal. This is the room where I died most often. In drainage. Going through this route. Especially if the water level is higher, I'm trying to get out of here. Nope, oh, still good. I've died here a decent amount of times as the as the monk in speedrun attempts. Maybe because they're just worse at swimming or have a lower lung capacity. But it's usually not that big of a problem for the hunter. Or probably any of the other slug cats. Except for the artificer. Don't have enough food, so I'll have to find something to eat before staying in a in another shelter. Hopefully the the next one over infiltration. Cormon speedrun, please. I don't know if I if I ever want to do that. I'll probably try to complete at least one speedrun, one decent speedrun for each of the new slug cats, except for Gorman. Or maybe I- oh, I should have grabbed a, a neuron light. I'll have to do this area blind while also hunting for mole lizards. While they're also trying to hunt me. I don't even know what's going on. What is down there? Oh, there's a big, big spider. Okay, that's enough food. <laughs> Just barely enough. Gorman can go fast and sliding, that's true. There's a lot of good things about Gorman. You also have to take a break from playing every five seconds. What am I holding on to? Is this a spear? Rock. So just from that one, just from this room, this whole region might be horrible. Although it's also the region with the most mole lizards, so. Well, I've practiced this area a lot of times. It's the end of the, the speed run that I've practiced a decent amount before downpour. And just going from outskirts to filtration is my preferred route over going through farm arrays. So you don't have to deal with deer. Because it's a much longer route, so you have to go through more of subterranean and deer are inconsistent. But this way you can just memorize the route through even in darkness and... And practice this. Who's hunting me? Is that what you're asking? Well, this is the hunted burden. Every creature in the region knows which room I'm in. Can this mole lizard come yeah, up here? 
Can I not come up to- oh great, there's three of them now. He was waiting for his friends. If you want a sample of what this looks like, this is a good example. They're already... Already three lizards in just this room. Usually there's one at most. No pursued, no. Haunted, honestly, is a lot worse than pursued. Because if there's a single red lizard or red centipede, it's basically the same as being pursued. If you don't know, pursued means that there is a either a red centipede or a red lizard or a different creature that I'm not aware of. But I've only seen red lizards and centipedes so far. One of them is always in the region you're in, and they always know your exact location, and they prioritize hunting you over other creatures. Maybe I'll go the other way. And so if there's a single red lizard in a, in a region, when you're being hunted, it's basically the same as being pursued. Also, it's... I think it's a lot harder when it's a red centipede over a red lizard because red lizards can't climb on walls and they can't fly so they there's some areas where they just get stuck in and they can't chase you welcome to me wandering around in the dark because i don't know where i'm going oh great bitter spider Oh, and then I get... Because of the spitter spider. Oh, now I'm dead dead. Okay, that's a bit of a sample of what this area is going to look like. Maybe I shouldn't have come down here. Probably would have been better to go to Shaded. Although both would have been better options with uh, any light source at all. So can I get down here before the mole does? No. The answer is no. Although if I could just lure this mole up here, where I can actually fight it, that'd be better. Oh, there's, an there's another one up there. There we go. One out of eleven. <laughs> Goodness. Too many of them stack up, but this is going to be a lot harder. Too many mole lizards, that is. Can this guy come up here? I think he can. Yeah, that spider. if I didn't get hit by that spider that I couldn't see, and that was probably off screen too, that would have been fine. Let's just try going... Oh, there was one right there. If you want to go through that pipe, would be nice. No. Ten more to go. Oh, yeah. The whole the whole party's invited. Yeah, I'd really like to leave this area before multiple moles get here. I saw that the the pipe flickered for just a second. Is that a red centipede? I think there's a red centipede. Sorry if it's a, it's a little bit too dark. I can't see anything either. Surely there's a red centipede in there. A oh, big big spider. Oh, I'm so dead. Yeah. You can't, you can't hit those spiders, they're gonna... They're, uh... All the small spiders come out. So, I don't know if this is a good idea at all. <laughs> I All I wanted to do was get to the shelter that's kind of at the bottom of filtration. Because it's a more open area where there's plenty of mole lizards. 
But just getting there, I feel like might be a little bit of a problem. Maybe a lot bit of, especially in the in the dark, when there's already multiple mole lizards just in this room. Although that might be a good thing. Maybe I should just kill these lizards over and over again. Without ever going further into filtration. Although it takes a while for them to actually get up here. And they usually like to team up. Oh, I would also like a rock to make this easier. Anything? Doesn't look like it. Oh, just fell right past the spider there. Don't mind me. Just looking for a single rock. This small, it's other mole lizard. Yeah, just fall through the floor. Okay, now it's dead. Took a while. I'm just gonna go back and shelter. I think this is the strategy. <laughs> Until if someone wants to check the lineage here. If any of these mole lizards are gonna turn into red lizards or something. Probably like spitter spiders is what they would lineage into next. They don't necessarily need to convert into the same like, creature type. I know that there's regular spiders that lineage into red lizards. Although I don't know if it goes the other way around. Lizards that turn into some other creature. So it's like any other type of lizard wouldn't really make sense down in filtration. Uh, maybe they, they'll turn into like red centipedes or something. So just repeat what I did last cycle like five times. White lizards. Also, I think this definitely confirms that hunted does not tell you, tell the creatures like where you are in the room. It just tells you what room. I'm holding on to two rocks here. Oh, I probably should. Gone down for that lizard. The biggest difficulty here is finding a decent amount of spears. Is one lizard enough? Should I maybe just go back and shelter immediately? I should probably avoid killing the spiders so they don't become even worse creatures. <laughs> that strat works. Yeah, welcome to 
the next half hour of the stream. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. One black lizard every every cycle. That'd be funny. You know, if a if a scavenger kill squad wants to show up and just happen to also be carrying on to a, a lantern, I I wouldn't mind. You can see a little bit around these red lights. Okay, there's usually another mole lizard somewhere. Like three of them in this room. Yep, there's the third one. You heard that, right? The the sound of the spear? It, it sounded like I hit them with the spear, but uh, apparently not. The game says no. Because I didn't die immediately from that from that bite. So we're, uh, we're going back down doing that again. Okay, I said that I, I wasn't going to be killing the spiders. But they're kind of in the way. Oh yeah, fall all the way down there. That rock go. Oh, it's scavengers. You know, I was actually looking for some scavengers. Although they don't seem, I don't think they had any lanterns. If they if they died, something happened though. Kind of a lizard in, or yeah, lizard in the way there. That is a scavenger down there. Okay, sometimes the rock just doesn't turn them around. I don't know why. Yeah, the the spear also could have hit the wall, and but then it would have stuck, right? Unless like throwing a spear from while you're being grabbed by a creature, it's a weaker throw. Might be in a better area to fight them. On this side. There's three spears here actually. Try to get some from this side. If I had a rock, I'll try a, a spear slide. Need to work out. Two mole lizards? Alright. Going back to the shelter. <laughs> Unless there's a... Oh, there's no pole up there. Now all the spiders are collecting together. Bit of food for next cycle.
know, I was considering turning on the the neuron light perk, which lets you start with a the neuron glow. But I wanted to keep them out of perks that I had pretty low. And now I wish I had. Okay, there's a rock. Oh, no more lizards. Either no more lizards or something worse. Hello, scavenger. I can't fight you right now. It's a little too... Oh, a light source. I have enough food. I'm going back immediately. This is my only chance to get any sort of light. I just have to avoid the spiders. Although they're usually scared of light sources. Actually, this shelter is going to pile up with lizards or spiders. Oh, weight values on the perks so that you can't just stack up on like on every single perk. Like the explosive jumps could be highly weighted or the rivulet's mobility. That that makes sense because some of the perks are like start with a lantern, start with a vulture mask, like just like one like one random item does not help you as much as, like, tripling your mobility for the whole run. So that makes sense to have them weighted. But it's also kind of fun to just make the most overpowered Flood Cat in existence. Okay, I'll have to go back for that lantern. I'm much more comfortable fighting lizards in this area. It's actually has open space. Yeah, come get me. For some reason, the sound effect for that spear didn't play. A blue lizard in this area. Okay, all of them are a little preoccupied up there with a, with a spider. Actually, hold up. This is a good chance. This is a this is my opportunity. Sounds like just another spider here. I think a little small spider. Is that a mole lizard? It's gonna come out of that pipe. No, it's uh, nothing. Okay. A little bit of a situation. <laughs> a little of a bit of a lizard problem. Oh gosh, it's starting to lag my game. Warning, game may lag if you place too many creatures in arena mode. There's actually like 10 of them in, in that small area. And a spider. And some scavengers. Maybe a centipede tooth. It's actually running at like 10 frames per second. <laughs> Sorry.
Um, I'm kind of trapped now. Oh, droplet. Droplet jump scare. And a coalescopede up there, too. I've never seen so many lizards in one area. Four, four more left. We're almost there. Hold up, I think I could sneak around. They're mostly concentrated around the, the left side. There's still a way, a way to get to that shelter. I mean, after seeing this, I don't know if I want to stay in this region. Oh, and of course it's the scavenger too. Okay. <laughs> Average filtration experience. Oh, goodness, what is that? Oh, a caramel lizard, a green lizard, and a regular big lizard. Okay, or a spider. Two spiders. One lizard. Just to create just exactly what I needed in that shelter. Okay. What do I have in my... Oh, I have a bomb. I should not have a bomb in this area. So there's a decent amount of light in this area. Having one in your stomach doesn't actually provide any light at all. Although, like, it would also be good to have a... Oh, actually, I have an idea. That idea did not involve... Okay. That worked out. I'll pick up there. Oh, they left. All the, the mole lizards are back. That is where they, they hold their parties. Okay, let's get this one up here. Yeah, I accidentally slid past it and then still hit it in the head. But I don't think it did more damage. Okay, just one left. This one, if it didn't fall all the way down there. Thank you. There's so many. What is going on? Is this necessary? Okay, that's the last one. Can I get, now the last challenge, can I get to this shelter? And there's leaf lizards here too, because there, of course there has to be. Those are probably ones from Subterranean. Now the game has a solid 15 frames per second. Okay, we're out of there. With a, a spider bed. Okay, that's that's the end of the expedition. It took a little bit longer than I expected. Goodness, that's a lot of kills. A little bit of a tip for if you're doing an expedition as hunter: um, don't go for any elite scavenger kills. They are very hard to find. Also, never go to filtration with the hunted burden. All right, well, thanks for watching everyone. That's gonna be the end of the stream. I'll prob I'm probably gonna do the same challenge as the Artificer and Spearmaster.
since they're both combat focused slug cats. And maybe Gourmand too. But these these two are too like too focused on like just evading other creatures entirely instead of combat. 49 cycles, goodness. So I'll do and maybe I'll include Pursued too. That could be interesting. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. That's the end of the stream now.